Disclaimer. The information available on this YouTube channel is for educational and information purposes only. If you are in Google go to search bar and encode Uretech. Hi guys, before we start, remember to smash the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you are always keep updated in my upcoming uploads. Hello guys, do you have a Samsung device that stuck up on account verification? In short, FRP? or factory reset protection like this one. In this video, I will talk about a tool that can totally remove Google account that bind in your Samsung devices. The tool I am referring to is Itolab Unlock Go Android. It's a tool that simply remove Android lock screen and Samsung FRP bypass. Remove all types of screen locks on Android, pin, pattern, password, and fingerprint. Bypass Google lock on Samsung devices. Unlock screen lock on earlier Samsung devices without data loss before S7 and uh, of course it is uh, suitable for all major Android brands uh, such as Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi, Motorola and etc. Guys this tool is not free. Let me show you the pricing of this tool. We have four choices. The popular choice is a one year plan that costs 39.95 US dollars. The other one is a one month plan, lifetime plan, a year business plan. So it's up to you guys what plan suit to your needs. Of course you can uh, purchase it by uh, paying PayPal, Stripe, Visa, Mastercard, Maestro, American Express, Discover, JCB, Dinners Club, International and Union Pay. We have uh, so many many choices of payment method before we have forgot you want to avail the tool to those want to avail this tool this uh, tool has 30% uh, off just enter this uh, co uh, coupon code the plug 30s can automatically get the 30% discount okay guys let's go back to our main topic okay so first of all we need to download the tool just click free download and of course, I will put the link on the description box below. The file size is only 42 MB. So if you have a good internet connection, one minute is enough to finish the downloading. And after downloading completed, just install the tool like an ordinary application. You don't need a special skill on computer to install the tool. You will know if the installation is good if your browser will pop up saying thank you for installing Unlock Go Android. The tool has three capabilities. Number one on the list is remove Google lock FRP. It is uh, completely remove FRP or Google account lock on Samsung devices. Number two is unlock screen lock. It can unlock Android screen password including pin, pattern, fingerprint, face recognition, etc. It is almost available for most Android devices. And the last one is uh, unlock screen lock without data loss. And uh, it's uh, only for early Samsung devices. And of course guys, like what I said in the early part of this video, the tool is not free and if you want to use the full functions of it, you need to purchase a key. Okay guys, since I already have a key, as you can see, I am now activating this tool. Okay guys, now I have successfully registered this tool. Let's now start to see how it works. As you can see here guys, I have Samsung J4 Plus that already resetted. I can activate it. When I try to connect it to Wi-Fi, I stack up on account verification. Saying that I need to verify the account that probably I really don't know. And before clicking the start button to the tool, make sure that your Samsung device is both connected on Wi-Fi and in your PC. And also your device is in account verification status. So if your device is ready, click the start button and you will need to check the box based on your current Android version. If you don't know your exact version, simply put your device into recovery mode like what I did in this video. And as you can see guys, putting Samsung devices on recovery mode will allow us to see the current Android version of the device. And because we already knew now the exact version of this device, let's go back to the tool and check the exact option. So after checking the box, click the next button and just click OK. And the tool will start sending command in the device. And you will see a message pop up in the screen of the device. And you need to tap the view and it will lead you to Google Chrome browser. And from there, put or encode itulab.com slash bypass. And underneath of that, tap it and it will bring you to the download site of itulab. Then in there, you need to download the files you will need based in your Samsung device. 
In my case, since my Android version is 8, I downloaded Android 8, 9, 10 Google Account Manager and FRP Bypass. Take note that you need to download the files based on your Android version. So after downloading the needed files, tap the three vertical dots in the upper right corner of the Google Chrome browser and select the download and then install the APK file with the Google Account Manager or GAM followed by FRP Bypass APK. And of course, before you install unknown apps, you need to allow it. Just follow what I did in this video. And after FRP Bypass installed, tap the open. You will see retype password. Tap the three vertical dots in the upper right corner. Tap browse sign in. Tap OK. Then Google sign will appear. And now sign in any available Gmail that you have. After signing in completed, restart your device. When your device rebooted, Activate your device in a normal way. In this time, you can now activate your device and allow to open the menu. As you can see there, I need to connect the device to Wi-Fi to be able to activate it. That's normal because we restarted the device, but I will show you later how to permanently remove the FRP lock of this device. But let's open the menu first. Okay, now that we are in the menu, we will totally remove the FRP lock of this device. To do that, go to setting, tap about, tap software information and tap seven times the build number. By doing that, we will allow to unlock the developer option. And after that, go back and under about option, you will see developer option. Tap it and enable OEM unlock. Some device. You need to manually reset the phone, but this device of mine is automatically reset. Then the phone will reboot after tapping the delete all button. And after the phone was rebooted, as you can notice, I can now activate the phone even without connecting it to my Wi-Fi. It means that my device was totally FRP free. Thank you very much guys for staying until here. Hope this video tutorial will help you guys. If you like this video, please don't bother to hit the like button. And if you want more content like this, just subscribe and smash the notification bell. Thanks in advance and stay safe everyone.